Hello and welcome to a new video on the Cryptography for Everybody channel. In this video, I want to show you my personal cryptologic highlights of the year 2020. And of course, the year 2020 was a really bad year for everyone. But nevertheless, some nice things happened, at least to me and to my YouTube channel. And I want to present these to you. And I structured this video into different parts. In the first part, I want to give you some facts about this YouTube channel. Then I want to show you some highlights of Crypto2. After that, I want to show you my personal cryptologic highlight, which was a solution of the Zodiac 340 message. Then I want to show you one of my crypt analysis highlights from the Decrypt project. And that are some letters from Maximilian II that we solved. And finally, I want to show you a highlight of my crypto books collection, and that is the Gaspar Schott's Scholar Steganographica. I created this channel in October 2019 on the 8th. And you can say that this was the first year of the channel 2020. And in this first year and the three month of 2019, we created 74 videos which were all dedicated to cryptology. In the Learn the Basics of Cryptology series, I created 20 videos. In the Introductions to Classical Cipher series, where you, yeah, as the name suggests, get introductions to classical ciphers, I created 23 different videos, for instance, about the Enigma machine or about the Zodiac Killer Z408 cipher. Then I created a series especially for new Crypto2 developers. This series is probably not so interesting for the average viewer of this channel, but I use this series to give an introduction to new developers, for instance, students that want to work for us in the Crypto2 project. Then I made already four videos in the Let's Break It series, where I broke original historic ciphertexts like postcards, for instance. And I want to also continue to break such ciphertexts and show this on this YouTube channel. Then we had the Crypto Challenge Contest 1 with five videos. And this was really a lot of fun. And we had some people or many people solving crypto riddles and challenges. And to be honest, this Crypto Challenge Contest videos were quite difficult to create. Not the videos them th themselves, but um, the challenges. Because when you create crypto challenges, you want to create challenges that people can actually solve, but they should not be too hard that people sit hours and days in front of their computer or in front of pen and paper and try to solve these challenges. So, but nevertheless, this crypto challenge contest one was very successful. I think many people had a lot of fun with this and I probably will make another contest next year. And then I have some other videos um, that were 12 different videos, for instance, introduction videos to Crypto2 or videos about uh, um, contact tracing, web app and so on. Then two interesting numbers concerning the channel. We have 1,560 subscribers right now and we have a total view time of 5,511 hours, all about cryptology. So thanks to everyone for supporting this channel, for subscribing, for viewing and watching the videos, for giving comments. And yes, thank you very much for that. Now I have the highlights of Crypto2. And Crypto2, as you know, is the main tool that I use in my videos. And I'm also the project leader of the Crypto2 project. And in 2020, we released the stable version 2.1 and we called this version 2021 and we released this on the 1st of April. And shortly after that release, um, it was mentioned on www.heise.de and this was on the 3rd of April. And when this news came out, our YouTube channel, channel of course got more attention, but of course also the downloads of Crypto2 at that time exploded. Over the year, we improved and added several components. An example is, for instance, the Enigma Analyzer, which was completely re rewritten based on some criticism we got from viewers of this channel. And 
These criticism, of course, were true. The channel, uh, the, the Enigma analyzer at that time was not state of the art. So we re-implemented re it completely using the state of the art crypt analysis, which George Lasry provided. Then we created steganography components, text and image steganography. And I also made two videos about this on this channel. And that was based or that was created in or during a bachelor thesis. Then we added Bruce Schneier's Blowfish, Twofish and Threefish ciphers to Crypto2 and this was actually done by myself. Then we added Bernstein's Sizer and Chacha ciphers. This was done also in a bachelor thesis. And of course we did a lot of bug fixes, improvements and so on. And of course we are always happy to get feedback from you, our watchers and users of Crypto2 to further improve Crypto2. And as ongoing work, we work on a complete new transposition analyzer. The transposition analyzer we have in Crypto2 right now is also not state-of-the-art anymore, and we decided to completely rewrite it using state-of-the-art algorithms, also from George Lethry. Now my personal crypt analysis highlight of the year 2020. And as you already know, David Orenschak, Sam Blake and Jal van Eike solved the famous Zodiac or infamous Zodiac 340 cipher. And for me, this was really a highlight since for 50 years, people tried to break this cipher. And right now, only two weeks ago, it was broken. And I could follow their solution and confirm it using a self-written program and Crypto2. And I also made two videos about that on this channel. In the first video, I shortly after the release checked their solution, only a part of it, the first part. And in another video, a bit later, I performed the complete decryption. So this was really my crypt analysis highlight of the year 2020. And I want to thank again David Orenschak, Sam Blake and Jal van Eike for this incredible solving of this cipher. That was really great. And yeah, I was just stunned to see this. So thank you very much. And as I said, I made two videos about this. And on, in, in my opinion, the solution, of course, is 100% valid. Now I come to a personal crypt analysis highlight from me. And I don't know if you know this, maybe some know, maybe some not. Besides working on the Crypto2 project, I mainly work for the Decrypt research project. And since a, two, since a few days, we also have this domain here, www.decrypt.org. So you may have a look at this. And in this Decrypt research project, we collect, encrypt, analyze historical encrypted manuscripts with an interdisciplinary international research team. And our final goal is to develop tools and solutions that everyone can use for his own research concerning historic encrypted manuscripts. And together with Michel Waldispühl, a colleague on the Decrypt project, we broke three historic ciphertexts from Maximilian II from 1575. You can see a picture from Wikipedia of Maximilian II here on the right side. He was a Holy Roman Emperor in the 16th century, and he sent three encrypted letters giving direct orders concerning the election of the new Polish-Lithuanian king. In that time, in 1575, the former king of Poland and Lithuania, um, he, he fled to France and became the French king. So the, the position of the Polish-Lithuanian king was open and Maximilian II, who was also, as I said, the Holy Roman Emperor, tried to also become Polish-Lithuanian king. And in these three diplomatic letters, he gives direct orders concerning this election and how to improve his chances to get or to be or to be elected Polish-Lithuanian king. And we wrote a nice paper about this. So this is deciphering three diplomatic letters sent by Maximilian II in 1575. And it will be published probably in January next year. So it's accepted. We are right now in the final stages of producing the um, final print version. And of course, I would suggest if you're interested to read this paper, it will be open access. So everyone will be able to read the paper, the article. And of course, when the article 
is published, I want to make one of maybe even more videos, especially about this on this YouTube channel next year. So stay tuned and have a look at this when it comes out. My next highlight is a highlight from my book collection. And maybe some of you also know that in my free time, I'm a, you can say, crazy collector of historic books about cryptology. So I collect books from the 17th and 16th and 18th centuries, so really old books. And my highlight this year was to obtain an original copy of Gaspar Schott's Schola Steganographica. You can see here two pictures. And I also uploaded these pictures to our book site or to our website cryptobooks.org. So you can see here the link. And this particular book is from 1665. Of course, it is written in Latin. And Gaspar Schott was a German Jesuit and scientist specializing in the fields of physics, mathematics, and natural philosophy. And of course, since it's in Latin and I cannot um, speak or read or understand Latin, or at least I, I can understand some parts, but not much. I still need to learn Latin. So this is probably a to-do for next year or for the next years. And this was my highlight of my book collection this year. And this brings me to the end of this short video. So again, thank you for your support of this channel. And now we can, or you may ask, what is next? And of course, I will continue creating videos about the ba basics of cryptology. So I will continue this series. Then, of course, the classical cipher series I will continue. I try also to make, or I will also make videos about modern ciphers, and of course, the cryptanalysis of these two types. Then I want to solve more historic cipher texts and show this on this channel, for instance, postcards or other encrypted manuscripts and texts. I want to create challenges, or at least one challenge this year, as I did last year. And of course, I plan many more things. For instance, I also plan to do or to create videos on blockchain or on programming cryptography and so on. And of course, we will create new releases of Crypto2 next year. Probably in January or February, we will release the next release version, the stable version of Crypto2, which will contain the new Enigma analyzer, the text steganography, and probably the transposition analyzer. Right now, if you want to use these and the current or, or, and see the current state of these, you have to use the nightly builds. You cannot use the release version. And yes, so um, I would also like to ask you to please like and share our videos on the channel and also subscribe to this channel to help us further grow this channel and to make it more popular. And as last words, I want to say, I wish you all Merry Christmas and of course, a healthy new year, and hopefully it will be a better year than this 2020. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.